Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a holiday inspired makeup tutorial and this is the look that I will be teaching you how to achieve. I know that you might be thinking, whoa, this is too colorful for me, but it's the holidays and you can never go wrong with glitter. The holidays for me is just a time where I can just bust out my glitter and not look like a hot glitter mess. I haven't seen a lot of holiday inspired makeup looks using red color so I definitely wanted to use red with gold because I think those two colors are just amazing together. Also I am going to be doing a small giveaway. These are really good quality brushes. This was the first time that I used them for this tutorial and I'm just like blown away. They're really good, really good quality. They're super blendable and they pick up enough product to apply it onto the eyes which I just love. So we are going to be doing a giveaway. They did contact me and ask me if I could do a mini review and then they wanted to do a giveaway for you guys. I love that they care enough about my subscribers as well to give you guys a little giveaway. They're really sturdy and again I just love the pink. I don't own anything like this. So I'm I'm gonna go over the rules because that's just boring but I will have everything that you must do in the description bar down below so make sure to check that out. They were kind enough again to give me a coupon code for you guys and it's 10% off and it's just OMG lashes. Enough rambling, my battery's gonna die. Enjoy the video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Alright so I've already primed my face. I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I'm going to mix two colors, I believe it's 310 and 322, and I'm applying that to my face first, then I'm going to go in with a brush and blend everything out. This is the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. I love this brush, I forget, I don't know why I don't use it as often, but it's a really good brush. The bristles are really soft and they're so tightly compacted that it just makes blending so, so easy. And these two colors are actually like perfect for me, which is really good because one is too light and one is too dark. So combining them both is like perfection. Now I'm going to move on to my concealer and I'm going to be using the Maybelline H Rewind Concealer. And I believe I use the color Corrective and I'm taking that pretty much, pretty much, pretty much everywhere where I want to highlight. And I'm going to take that blending brush once again and I'm going to blend everything out. I do like to stipple it on first and then I just go in and buff it out just to make sure that I don't have like too many harsh lines where it's not too patchy. Now I'm going to take the NYC Translucent Powder. I've been loving this powder so much. It is so silky and it's so finely milled that it just bakes my face so nicely. I love using this and I just pretty much set everywhere where I get oily. Now I'm going to take the NYC Sunny Bronzer and I'm going to be applying this all over my face. I'm going to just really take it down like to the jawline to cover up my double chin because that's not cute. And I'm going to make sure to blend everything out. I'm not going to do anything too crazy with my contour today so I'm just going to take this brush and I'm going to slightly carve out my cheekbones because again I'm not using anything else so now I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush and I'm going to pretty much dust away that baking that we just did so now I'm gonna move on to eyebrows this is the NYX eyebrow gel and I am starting at the bottom I like to just kind of carve them out to give them shape and then I go in and fill them in. I did rewind this a little bit just so you can kind of get an idea of what I do but I do have an updated brow routine video if you guys want to see that. And then here I do like to flick up those little pelitos. Now I'm going to set them in place with this eyebrow gel. I know it's not drugstore but I don't have anything else. Now I'm going to take the Take Me to Brazil palette and I'm going to take that bright red Anything that you have works, but this is the brightest red that I have. And I'm going to take that pencil brush and I'm going to start carving out um, where I want my cut crease to go since I don't have really defined hollowed out eyes or whatever. I really need to go in there and work it out. So I'm going to do that to both of the eyes and I'm going to wing it out just so I can make sure that it's nice and cat eye-ish. And then I'm going to go in with 
another blending brush from the same brand and I'm going to start buffing out that red. I want to make sure that I don't have a harsh line so I do take my time with blending. Make sure you take your time with blending just so everything can look nice and neat. And then I do go in with another fluffy brush and I just further blend out everything again so I don't have any harshness and everything is nice and smooth. Now I'm going to go back to the NYX eyeshadow base, which is actually what I used to apply a base on my eyeshadow or before the eyeshadow. And then I'm going to carve out the cut crease. This is what's going to give it that really cool effect. And then I go back onto the red and I just make sure that I blend everything out. And I do retouch up that cut crease effect just so it's not so blah, I guess. And then I go back into that um, brush and I make sure that I re-blend everything. I'm sorry, I suck at voiceovers. This is why I don't like to do them. This is my only option, so I'm working with it. So yeah, I just make sure that I blend everything and again, just take your time. Now I'm going to take this Luxie eyeshadow. It's 24 carats and it is gorgeous. I did do my other eye off camera because honestly, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just kind of winging it. So I'm just going to apply that all over the lid and I'm going to take that up to the crease to give it more of a cut crease effect. Now I'm going to apply my glitter. This is the e.l.f. Glitter Primer. This stuff is amazing. If you guys don't have it, buy it. It's only a dollar. You won't regret it. I'm taking a gold glitter. These are actually glitters from Michaels. They're not meant to be for your eyes, but so far they haven't hurt my eyes. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that all over. Now I'm going to do my wing liner, apply my lashes, and I'll be right back. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line. I don't know what happened to the clip where I was putting eyeliner, but you guys know how that is. I mean, it's nothing too special. So I'm just going in and smoking it out. And I take a little bit of that red and apply it underneath the black just to balance out everything. And then I apply mascara. Now I'm going to move on to the highlight. This is an e.l.f. baked um, highlight. And I believe it's the color Moon Moonstone or Moon Pearl. Something like that. I will have it in the description bar down below. But I'm applying that pretty much everywhere where I want to highlight my nose, Cupid's bow, and my chin. And I do it a little bit on top of my brows just to balance out the face. Now I'm going to give you two lip options. The first one is this red one, which I absolutely love. And the second one is a nude. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. I love you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.